means if somebody comes in your house, breaks in your house and steals stuff out of your house, and the police say, give me a list of what was taken. And there's certain things you'll notice, okay, my couch is gone, my TV is gone, my this is gone. But it's those things you don't look at the stuff up in the attic. It's the same way in the spirit. It's the stuff up in the attic, down in the basement, in the guest room, the stuff we don't see a lot. That's where the enemy tries to enter at when, when you, when you are, are, are truly trying to live for God. We notice the big stuff, right. but it's the small stuff. It's the it's, it's it's not the lie you tell on somebody, but it's that half truth or that thing that you omit. It's the one word that you leave out right. that'll change the whole sentence, change the whole way it's received. Well, I really didn't like. What? Well, yes, you did. <laughs> See, God does not out the chaos. He, but God, I believe God believes in clarity. I believe that God wants to reveal to us. He wants us to see. Yes, he does. Amen. But I will tell you this, in the midst of gaining clarity, sometimes you don't like what you see. Okay. okay. Right. You don't like what you hear. That's all right. Come on. Put a pot on the oven. On the fire, if you got a gas and I like gas, put it on there. It's burning. It just clean. Turn it off and let it sit there. We have to constantly stay on the fire. All right. Even when it's like, well, I'm already on and now I can just turn it off. If you turn it on, it won't happen. It will, it will instantly start to cool down. That's how I walk with Christ here. Sometimes we have to turn the fire back on. We have to say, God, take me back to the first love. Sometimes you have to remember the day you got saved, the day you got filled with the Holy Ghost. You have to remember it. Because if you don't, you turn the fire off. Then we'll become repetitious. And then what do we know? If we do it for the wrong reason, the wrong motive, then it's not accepted by God. Thank you. I don't care how good it is. I don't care how wonderful it looks. I'm telling you. Somebody can bless the man of God with suits and clothes, woman of God. But if they did that because they're trying to entice him away from his wife, uh -huh. they can't go back and stand on, well, God, I did this and that for the man of God because what is God going to say? Your motive was incorrect. If I do it because you told me to, but my spirit ain't right, Amen. I can't go back to God and stand on that. Amen? Amen. So that's